In this video, we're going to show you how to add a select field to a custom module using the Divi Module Builder plugin available on DiviPlugins.com. If you've been following along the price drop custom module that we've been creating in our tutorials, the select field that we're going to add is going to let the user decide which animation they want to apply to the module, the roll in, roll out effect, or the drop in, drop down effect that we're going to call hinge. If we go to our module, we have our fields that we've already created. We're going to add another field and we're going to call this original price animation for the field identifier. We're going to call it original underscore animation. <clears throat> we're going to create two options for the user for each price, original price and sales price. They can apply a different animation for each price. For the description, I'll copy and paste that over. Select the desired animation that will apply to the original price when user hovers on product box. Let's change the field type to select. And you can see we have two options available to us for adding a select option. We could add it manually using a comma, comma separated list of labels and a comma separated list of values or we can pull the values from a custom function. And I'll show you both examples in this video. We'll start with the comma separated list. So our options are going to be hinge and rollout. <clears throat> and these will be the values that appear in the module settings and the select option. For the values, for the hinge, we're going to use drop hinge. And for the rollout, we we'll use drop rollout. So let's update our module. And inside of our Divi PHP tags, let's echo the value of our select field, original animation. We'll update again. Now let's refresh our page that has the custom module. And we should now see a new select option. Hinge and rollout. So we're going to save that and preview the changes and we get, should get an echo for the value. DPCM price drop hinge. If we go back and look at our module, that is our first value. So let's change the value. Make sure it changes to rollout. Save, update. And a change to rollout. So now let's go back to our module and we're going to remove these values. <clears throat> and instead we're going to create these values from a function. So I've added another function to my custom functions in addition to the date function, calling it DPCM animation select. And in it, I've created an array with key values and values. And if we come back up, we're going to copy the name of the function. And we're going to add that function name in the get options from function. And for the description, it says enter the name of a custom function that will return an array containing the option labels and values of the select. The key of each value on this array will be the value of each option. So my keys are the hinge and the rollout. <clears throat> if we update and refresh, we should see the same select available in the module, but instead of Coming from the comma separated list, it's coming from the function. And there it is. We'll change it back to hinge. And it changed to hinge. So that's two methods that you can add a select option field to your custom module. In the next video, I'm going to add the original and sales price fields. And I'm also going to add the background color picker for each of these fields so that when the user hovers over, 
will have the original price, background color, and then the roll in drop down background color. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you want to follow along in these videos, you can download the Divi Module Builder plugin from DiviPlugins.com. And this module will be available as a free module that you can download from the site called Price Drop.